Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from StagmaPKs, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to install, download, install, build, Tesseract and Leptonica. In this tutorial we'll do Leptonica, in the next tutorial we'll do Tesseract because if I do both on one, it, the video is going to be too long. So let's get started because we have a lot of ground to cover. The first thing you need to do is go back to my GitHub page where I have I've taken all these steps that you were going to do and they're all here. So all you need to do is follow along. Everything that we up there, we've did that in the last two, three tutorials. So we're all, you know, we're halfway there. And I'm getting, I'm building Leptonica and Tesseract because a lot of people, most 80% of the questions that I get are uh, related to uh, OCR and a lot of people doing projects in, in, in object character recognition, tax, uh, license plates, and all of that. So I know it's, this is very, very popular. And uh, in order to use Tesseract and a a a l n p r a n l p r I forgot what it is Open a l p r you need these libraries and you need Open CV. So that's why I'm I'm doing these two tutorials. Yeah, this I know that this, they were gonna become very handy. So the first thing you need to do is find out what your version of uh, of Ubuntu is on your Ubuntu Mate. Okay, so be, why do you need that? Because they need to match. If you're doing Tesseract 4.0, it has to match. If you're doing 3.4, it has to match and it has to match. For this reason, I mean, right now I'm using Ubuntu Mate 16.04 and I'm getting away with doing this latest one. So that's good. You know, as long as these two guys match, you're golden. Uh, this can be a little bit, uh, it doesn't have to be completely 100% match, but it cannot be behind. It can be ahead, but it cannot be behind. Okay, so that's why I, we're doing it this way. So just do this, paste it, hit enter, and it's going to tell you what your version of Ubuntu Mate you have, and that's very important to know, and not only for this, just to know in general what, what you need when you're downloading other stuff. So once you do that, we could go back to our page here, and we are going to just follow along. We're going to do all of these. We need the compiler, a G++ compiler. It could be Clang or Clang. Uh, I, I'm doing G++ because that's what I have. Uh, you need the auto tools from uh, GNU. You need package config. You need the PNG development libraries, JPEG, TIFF. You need ZipLib and you need XGV. This will come handy when you're displaying images. And if you're doing some training, you also need these three libraries. So all of this, I'm just gonna go be lazy and just copy and paste and show you how to do it. I already have them all, but I just wanna show you how to do it. And it's telling me that I have G++, and now it's doing all the other ones. It's doing the auto tools, and there they go. TIFF, PNG, and CGV, hit enter. And as you can see, I have them all. In your case, it's going to take a little bit longer because you need them. Okay. So now let's go back here and find out what else we need. And we need especially these three very important if you're going to do the training and training how to use the OCR and there they go lib Cairo development and they're all there so we got them all installed and we're gonna go back again see where we are okay this is where we're gonna get the GZIP tarball from Leptonica, from the leptonica.org um, or 
organ, organ, org organization. So let's go there. So I show you what it is. If you run into trouble building Leptonica, this is a page that you need to have because uh, most of these things that I'm doing, I'm just following his steps, especially here. Step two, which is building using AutoConf. This is Dan Bloomberg's uh, page. Uh, he's done a great job maintaining the, the library because a lot of libraries use Leptonica. OpenCV uses it, Tesseract uses it, OpenALPR uses it. So he's done a great job maintaining it. Uh, so kudos to you, Dan. And uh, I hope everything continues this way. And also you need to go here if you, you know, they also have pretty good directions. But everything is on my page here. So if you follow along here, you should be okay. So let's get the the G zipped tarball. So we're gonna go here and I'm going to clear here. And we're gonna do we get paste and just hit enter. Okay, I'm not I'm going to stop it because I already have it. So as you can see, I already have it right there. So I don't need to do another one. So I'm just going to remove that one. And clear. So once you have this guy, what you are going to do is you're going to do this. You're going to create a directory, make dear Tesseract. Okay. And hit enter. I'm not going to hit enter because I have it right there. So once you create that directory, you're going to do this. You're going to do move the gzip tarball inside that directory that you just created. And there, and now it's gone. As you can see, it's not there anymore because it should be in here. Now, once you go in there, you're going to change into that directory. And there it is. Okay. Now you're going to use gun zip to uh, take care of that GC extension and hit enter. And now, as you can see, what happened here? Gun zip, GC, I don't follow. Zip. Let's try again. Actually, I'm not even going to do this because I already have it. I'm just going through the steps so you know how to do it. So what I'm going to do is just remove it. Because once you gun zip it and then you use tar, you will get this directory right here. I'm just going through the steps just to show you what to do. But I have them listed here. So you used to do tar that dash XBF and then you're going to uh on you know inflate it. Okay. I don't want to waste too much time doing this. So let's I'm just gonna remove it. And then you're going to get this directory right here. Okay. Once you get in that directory, you're going to go inside of it. And then once you're inside that directory, you're going to do make dear build. And you're going to create a directory called build. I'm not going to hit enter because I'm going to show you. You're going to create this directory right here. This is the one we just created. Most of this stuff is not going to be there, so don't worry about it. You're only going to have that directory called build. Uh, actually, you're going to have a few of these things, but not, not all. So now, once you're here, you're going to go inside that directory, that build directory that you just created. And once you're in there, you're going to do this, configure. 
configure. Don't forget to put those two dots because you're inside build. So you're telling the compiler that you're going to look for configure one directory up because this is the configure that you're going to do. So don't forget this two. You got to go up. And then once you, all I'm doing is creating everything inside the build directory because as you can see, this is pretty crowded already. So I don't want to crowd it more than it is already. So I'm just creating some of some of the other stuff inside the, the build directory. Okay, so once you go into the build directory, you're not going to have none of that stuff. Okay, you're going to build all of that stuff. So remember, just go configure. Okay. Once you hit configure, it's going to configure everything. It's going to take about 15 minutes. And let's check our, so we're doing, we're already here. So we're doing good. And then it's, like I said, it's going to take about 15 minutes. And then once it's all configured, it's going to find, make sure that the compilers are all set, that you need all of this stuff for the compiling process to take care. Then once it's finished, if everything went well, you do make. Once you hit make, it's going to compile, it's going to build everything. It's going to take maybe about 20 more minutes. And all of this stuff is going to be created. This guy right there is going to be created. Some of this stuff is going to be created. And some of this other stuff in this directory is going to be created. Okay. So, and once you get to the end, you need to install it. So just go sudo make install, and it's going to install all across your, uh, your system. Once you hit sudo make install, you should be all set. All you need to do, this is optional. If you want to check and make sure your system is, uh, all, you know, if you're a testing type of guy and you want to do that, you can do it. I did it. And out of all of them, I only had one failure. So that was pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And YJ4, your XU4 is eight cores. So half of that is four, so it should be fine. Okay. And then uh, at the end, you're going to get everything installed. And in the next tutorial, where I'm go we're going to test Leptonic and make sure it's working so we can get it ready for Tesseract. This is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time when we're going to test uh, uh, Leptonica. Have a great day. Take care.